Okie dokie. Oh, there's a dog. Why am I not hearing sound effects? Do you not make noise when you walk? It's creepy. You. What do. What to do with you? Let's see. Adios. Afternoon? There's my room again. Somebody's knocking. She gave me a diary. No, it's not this one. I'm supposed to look after this mama's boy. No. No, 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 no. And there's my good buddy as well. He's ah, right now. this might be a it. Gun. Somebody's screaming outside. Somebody's screaming. Yeah, girls' voices. Hmm. What do you know? The bastard, the gutless, miserable bastard. He was waiting for you, wasn't he? Can you remember what happened? What happened with you two guys? Oh, well, that flashback took a minute to start. We're in the jail cell. Hey, look at this. I say, look at this. Hey, look at it. Look at it. Look through it. A ventilation shaft. Put your hand in there. I can't reach it. It's too far away. You fucking... Put your hand in there. Your hand will, f your hand will clearly fit. Kick. I'm so angry at the world. That's not kicking! Jesus. I wanna look at the trash can. Okay, fine, we'll look at the door. The door's locked. Oh, no shit, Sherlock. Oh god, I don't wanna look at your face. Chair leg. Knife. Use the chair leg to get the knife. Cause chair legs have That's thumbs. It. Come here. Come here. You could have did that with your fingers. God. Oh. <laughs> I got it. You now have a knife. Damn. I won't be able to break that open so easily. Use the knife. That might just work. Wow. Wow. Wait, what? Is it covered in stone? Almost there. Okay. Okay. Yeah. This game is... This game. I've opened the ventilation shaft and now I'm climbing down. I'm in a passage. Pitch black in here. Hey, wait a minute. I recognize this place. I've already been here. At the back there's a door. With a code lock. A code lock? And you recognize the passage? Yeah, I'm sure I do. I know how to get out of here. I know the code. Ah! Uh, ah! Uh, uh, I have it somewhere on a piece of paper. Yeah, okay. Ah, right. Oh. Here's the ventilator. I, I know how to get out of here. I There's a way leading upwards. Through the ventilator? No. Through the passages. And then, we'll get even, my friend. Didn't even need the password. Groovy. Okay, I'll find it. Oh, that explains what that was. I'll get him. No, you're not going to get him. He's here. 
safe. In cell three. Why did you lock up the two girls? Hey. Hey, answer me. You know why, tell me. <sighs> okay then. Chill and relax, will you? Okay. Let's leave the psychopath to his deviations. Uh, where am I going? What did that have to do with anything? Oh, uh, who pushed you in? Cell 2, because I think cell 3 is the crybaby. No. Oh, or cell 1 the crybaby. Who am I going to talk to? Let's go to cell 3. Oh, what am I in part three? I've opened the ventilation shaft and now I'm climbing down. I'm in a passage. Pitch black in here. Hey, wait a minute. I recognize this place. I've already been here. At the back there's a door. With a code lock. A code lock? And you recognize the passage? Yeah, I'm sure I do. I know how to get out of here. I know the code. And I know how to get out of here. Uh, somehow. I'm supposed to go to cell 2, but that's the girl. So, what what does this lead to? Uh... And there's my good buddy as well. He's getting drunk right now, and he's got a gun. Oh, cause she was locked in. Outside. Somebody's screaming. Right. Yeah. Girls' voices. Hmm. And did you know what he was talking about? It was nighttime and you were in the prison cell. You and somebody else. The other one. A cell. We're locked in. We? Yeah. We're I locked mean. in. Who is you? I hate her. Wow, okay. Oh yeah, because you shot each other. Wow. He's locked the door. Wow. If you touch me one more time, <laughs> then, then I'll kill you. Wow. You know what? I even believe you would. Too bad you don't have your knife. Because I have it. She's got a knife. My knife. I think it's time we talk to the final patient. You. This guy, he could be cool. He just comes in at, like, what's still a win? Are we in four? Oh, we're in three. Wait, what? What cell are we in? No. Yeah, we're in for it. Oh, God, I'm so dumb. We need cell two. A cell. We're locked in. We? Yeah, her and me. Who is you? I hate her. She's got a knife. My knife. Hmm. Hmm. Want to talk about it? You heard what she said? She was in a cell. Someone else was with her. That was you, right? It was nighttime. And you had her knife. Can you remember? Just concentrate. And tell me what happened. I was expecting her to just spit on me. A cell. 
Oh, God, no. She's here, but I've got the knife. I like her voice a little bit better. He's locked the door. If you touch me one more time, <laughs> then? Then I'll kill you. She's threatening me. The little bitch is threatening me. <laughs> Too bad you don't have your knife. Because I have it. Great. And now what are you going to do? Shank you. Shank her. You can do it. You'll see in a minute. I'll see what. Get out of my way. You're joking. Get out. After you. I've got to get out of here. Maybe I can use the knife. And scrape off the stone and unscrew. What's happening? What was that? Don't tell me. You dropped the knife behind the grill. Wow. Shut your face, okay? What do you want? Do you think I'm scared? Now you don't have a knife anymore. God damn. The knife's gone. Fallen behind the grill? Yes. in here in the cell. Beep, 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 Call our best friend. Hi, Moretti. I was supposed to call you. Hey, Doc, what's happening with our kids? You're going to be surprised. I think we're getting somewhere. Listen up. We got something, too. We found a piece of paper in number two's pocket. Uh-huh. And you know what? Jason spent a couple of days on it in the lab. The results are darned interesting. Tell me. Damn interesting. A big grizzly. A girl being stabbed. Not a bad piece of artwork either. Ah, so who was stabbing her then? Can you see? It was another girl. Interesting. Is that it? Interesting? Bit of a cool response, Doc. Jason worked his ass off making the damn drawing visible. These drawings are very enlightening. Tell Jason I'm impressed. So you can use it? I'll know that pretty soon. I've already got an idea about it. So you got nothing more I mean, even I do. Soon. Well, I'm afraid I gotta ask you, Doc, what the hell I'm supposed to put in my report to the chief of police? Well, that is one unpleasant son of a bitch. You're gonna have to give me something solid pretty damn soon. Maybe we can meet for a beer tonight. Anytime, I told you already. Okay, I'll call you. Just have a little more patience, Detective. Cell two. Hey, hey, hey. Listen, my girl. I've got a drawing. Listen, my girl. I got it from the police. Who are it's you, a Xavier? Drawing you had with you. It shows a murder scene. The girl that was killed looks like the girl that was probably in the cell with you. I'd like to know what happened between you two. Please, try and remember. You were with the girl in the prison cell. What happened before that? Come on, I know you can do it. Just this one session. Wow. 
Wow. Aren't you screwed? Describe to me where you are. It's the watchtower. How did you get there? I don't know. Yeah, you know, we really don't know that, do we? An old searchlight. An old searchlight. What happens if we push it? We're gonna just turn it, right? Well, kid you not, cause you're super weak and it's rusted. Nope, can't do it. Then we'll shoot it. Fuck. Oh, hey. Up. Hmm. The button seemed to be for the searchlight motor. Nothing's happening. Maybe I have to turn the searchlight on first. I didn't even get a chance to use the Konami code. Just a moment. Maybe the searchlight still works. Ah. Uh... Ah, it still works. Now can I break it? Let's see what this thing looks like on the inside. Yep, it's gotten pretty wet. Now then, what now? I don't, I don't, I don't know. Jesus, put the gun in. Fuck. Take? What's wrong with us? I must have to connect it somewhere. But where? Okay. Um. You stuck That's the console from the control desk. It's pretty damp. I've got to dry that thing somehow. It's way too hot to touch. Then put this on and dry it. It's way too hot to touch. It's even a boat coming. I must have to connect it somewhere. But where? Wow, okay. Okay, the searchlight is out. That could work. <laughs> I like how the boat's just going by casually in the background. It doesn't seem to be resetting. Ah, oh, fuck! I gotta turn it back on somehow. There we go. There we go. Okay, the searchlight is out again. Mm-hmm. The console's hanging off the searchlight. You can't tell if it's like dry or something? That must be enough. The console's dry now. Oh, wow. Groovy. What? Oh, bugger. It's 
gotta work now. Wow, my fiddle with the screws. Wow, someone shot it. So damn it. Some ass on the boat. That's who. What is it? What's going on? The searchlight. It's shot out. Jeez. Oh no. I hate her. The girl came, right? The girl who you were with later in the cell. I'm tired. I know. It's late. Sleep a while. I'll be back again tomorrow. We'll pick up again from there. Don't worry. Now I know where we can start out from again tomorrow. Good night. Okay. We could go talk to, uh... So four lady, but I don't think we have conclusive evidence. And we don't have any other real leads. Oh, the doctor, you're just standing there. What's up, homie? Dr. Young, what are you doing out here? Why should that interest you? I thought you'd already gone home. And you? Not leaving? Yeah. Have you discovered anything? Quite possible. I'm confident I'm going to find out what happened to these young people. Ah, really? That's, uh, excellent. Tell me. Please, you'll have to excuse me. I'm really tired. I just want to get back to my hotel. Okay, then. <laughs> you don't have time to be professional and talk to the doctor? You gonna go home and drink a little? Asshole. Host. I sent an express letter to your hotel. K.M. It's, it's Kim, but it looks like Kim. It's not fixing itself. Oh. Actually, deleting messages would be like a great thing. Like a great ability. Mr. Flynn? Sir? Good evening, sir. I have some mail for you. Of course you do. A letter. Thank you. I've got to go. See you later. Have a good day, sir. <laughs> what? Up to his face. Like, turned in a weird way. Dear Mr. McNamara, in accordance with the authority mandate enclosed, we inform you that we are now entrusted with managing the interests of Mrs. Kim McNamara of Washington, D.C. Mrs. McNamara is the registered owner of the house at 37 Hillside, Washington, D.C., which you register as your primary dwelling and which you also inhabit in common with our client. Effective immediately, our client has issued a restraining order prohibiting you from entering either the house or the property at 37 Hillside, Washington, D.C. Non-compliance with this order will be met with measures invoking the full force of the law. Your personal effects will be put into storage or mailed to you accordingly. We will be contacting you again shortly in order to keep you fully appraised of this matter. Yours sincerely, Frank Pollock. Ingram and Pollock. Dear Mr. Oh, McNamara, oh, in accordance oh, with Mr. Oh, Defective, your, your Frank Ingram. Okay, so she kicked you out. Like, legally, that's, that's kind of sad. Holy shist. Uh, mirror's still broken. I guess we go to bed. Not yet. You have to go for drinks. Oh, maybe I should call him. Like, yeah, you ready for that drink? Better not in here. Everyone can hear. Wow, okay. Jesus. Okay, he's...
Maybe it would be better to go to sleep sober tonight. Maybe it would be better what? to go to sleep sober tonight. Fucking BS. I Kim, why would you do this? Uh let's call a lawyer first, I guess. Like, lawyer, why would you do this? I'm banking your wife. No. Ingram? Hi, Terry. Yeah, it's me. David. Hi. Terry, uh, I need your help. I got something in the mail. Uh-huh. From Kim. It's a legal letter. From your office, Terry. Oh. She wants a divorce. Did you know about that, Terry? You still there? She, um, must have discussed that with Frank. I just don't believe it, Terry. I mean, I've tried everything. Yeah, I know it hasn't been easy for her, but hell, it hasn't exactly been easy for me either. But she can't just pick up and throw it all away like that. Not like this. I'm really sorry, David. Hey, can't you have a word with Frank? You know, call him off somehow? I'll see what I can do. But I don't think you should hold out too much hope. Oh, for crying out loud, what am I, some kind of monster? Please, Terry, speak to her. David, Holy shit. Yeah? you need help. Treatment. I'm telling you this as a friend. Oh, great. Now you're starting. You know it yourself, David. You know you do. God, yes, I know. I'll do it. I'll do it. But what good's that right now? <laughs> so you'll, you'll speak to Kim then? You promise? Yeah, I will. Thanks. Uh, I, I've got to go. It's uh, been a long day. And you haven't exactly been talkative. Sorry. It's a difficult situation for me too, you know? Sure. Sorry to lay this stuff on you. We'll talk again when you're in Washington. When we have some quiet time. Hey, uh, you, st you still owe me a beer. <laughs> I'd completely forgotten. Keep on, yeah? Yeah. Take care. <laughs> oh, the drama. It's horrifying. Kim! Stop staring at us, it's weird. Oh, dicks. Oh! This is the messaging service for Kim McNamara. I'm not available right now, please leave a message. Kim, it's uh, Dave, it's your husband. Or, should I say ex-husband. I read your letter. You're not serious, are you? Didn't we agree we'd talk this over? There's one thing I can promise you. If you're really gonna go through with this, then we're both gonna end up with some serious grief. I will not! Message storage limit. Thank you for calling. Damn it! Yeah, uh, you look like you need a drink, buddy. Let's uh, let's go down and get a drink. <laughs>